Who has a prediction about who my friends might be inside of here? They came from my house, and they're my friends. That's all hints I'm going to give you. April? Something hairy. Something hairy? Okay. What do you think? I really just enjoy getting to know kids as people, seeing their curiosity um, blossom and seeing things they're interested in, seeing them grow throughout the year. So I'm going to, I want you to just look at it for a minute. This is one of the smaller ones. Every year is a whole new challenge, and I don't ever want to get to the point where I'm like content at what I'm doing. I'm Sometimes what I do is based on what I've seen. And even when I don't necessarily feel like that's the right way to do it, it's like, well, I've seen it done, so maybe that's what I should do. I want to um, find ways to do things differently in my classroom. The Center for Inspired Teaching works in partnership with teachers. We invest in teachers to bring about the kind of education reform that's going to make school a place where students' and children's innate curiosity is nurtured and fueled. And the program is designed to give teachers the opportunity to reflect on their practice in teaching and improve with the idea that the best people in any profession, including teaching, are always asking, how can I be better? But then when we I've done things in my classroom before based on, you know, things that they've told me they liked or wanted to do, but it wasn't until I got here that I really saw how powerful that can be for them and how much value and meaning they can gain from that. I'm going to open myself up more to allow them to just blossom the way they want to. Before I was kind of like, well, you start with, you know, being, you know, the head or the authority and then, you know, involving the students, but instead kind of twisting that around and like starting with the community. So you got to do one thing and you got to tell the next person what you're doing, but is it really what you're doing? No. Do you want to try it this time? You know, how do I use different intelligences? Uh, multiple intelligences that they have, and how do I uh, create kind of a caring classroom environment? This isn't the skit yet, right? So do giant. Jomo, do it. Do weakling. If you want to lift it up and see the bottom, you can. Well, I've realized how much more students retain when it's something they really, it, it's different, number one, um, that they like. They touch it! They touch it! They touch it! Yeah! And Inspire Teaching has kind of given me more confidence to know that I can do things a different way um, yeah, yeah. and it, the learning will actually be better and richer for the students. How many of you think you could use some practice at telling stories? I want you to tell me how you think the chocolate tastes, okay? First off, I think I'm more aware of the kids' interests and needs. I make myself more conscious of it and more in tune with it, what need needs to be met in order for them to achieve this goal or complete this activity. The biggest change I've noticed in Michelle is that she's no longer convinced that she knows what's best for students. She's really taking the time to learn each student and to figure out what each student needs, not based on what she thinks that they need, but actually what they can show her that they need through getting to know them and the relationship she's building with students. Which chocolate do people like the most? A, how do you know? I had to figure out a way to, while also taking care of myself, figure out how to do what's best for the kids and not just take the easy way out. So um, being able to be around like-minded people gives you that inspiration and that motivation back. I think this year they've built a good community with each other, that they're pretty good about helping each other and figuring out things together. I feel like a lot of what Inspired Teaching taught us about um, kind of creating a classroom community um, helps me form that this year and I've seen the rewards. Sometimes when we're playing math games and stuff like that, 
my brain starts to hurt in a good way. It feels like that it is going to, out to the beach, exercising and stuff like that. How do I know his kids yeah. are learning? It's because they're happy. When you walk into the classroom, they're happy. When you see them in the hall, when you walk down the hall, the first day they will say, Miss Presley, guess what we did in our class today? They're like that all the time. She has some great out-of-the-box thoughts. Um, if, if it's always for the kids, it, uh, my answer is yes. It's good to push back, and um, she's definitely capable because her knowledge base has gotten stronger to push back. Well, have you thought about it doing this way? Why would you want to do an experiment more than once? To figure out the truth. You're a star, you shine. The impact of inspired teaching's work with teachers is simple. Teachers teach better, and kids learn more, and they achieve more. He do fun things when he's teaching us. And he taught us a song with perimeters. Uh, the perimeter is the fence around the playground. The area is the grass inside the playground. You're beautiful.